Alright guys, so today's build is going to be the Little Bandito and we're going to build this up with some motors I got for 3 bucks a pop here from Banggood and we got the Hive 16 from Newbie Drone and we're going to use the Newbie Drone BI and we're really going to have a very few soldering points on this build. So I also got a little printout here that I'm going to need in order to put a canopy on this. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to take a look at here is our Hive 16. Now the Hive 16 is everything you need in an all-in-one stack. So you're going to get your VTX, your receiver, your flight controller, and your 12 amp ESC that is rated for 1 to 2 S. This thing is pretty much, you know, uh, it's all pinned in, so soldering is reduced. And when you do your math and you're thinking at $99, remember you would have to buy all these parts individually. And once you added them up, yeah, you can get it for a little bit less, but you're going to have to do a lot of soldering on a 16 millimeter board, which is not the easiest thing in the world to do. But this is going to be the best fit on our little bandito. We're going to use this uh, little plate here to put on and it what it's going to do is it's going to give me um, some stand-ups for me to screw on the uh, bi that we're using which comes with a uh, canopy if you will to hold the camera in place and it will screw right in on this so this is technically going to be really really fast build and um, it's going to be you know something I, I think is going to be pretty nice but uh, as we put it together we'll go now I got these motors here like I said for three dollars a pop if you don't follow my uh, best FPV deals look in the description below I have a uh, Facebook site there that I, I put deals I find like this up on there and three dollars a pop for 1102 11,500 is pretty good now with these motors and motors like that sometimes you don't get the motor screws look in the description below and I'll give you a link to this box of M2s that I have to handle anything that I, I don't have when I need to build one of these so first thing I do is get all the motors screwed down as you can see here and I screwed our mount in place I figure you don't want to watch me screwing these down but that's where I always start screwing the motors down and getting any kind of mounting I need in place and the next thing I'm going to do is I've taken my ESC off of the stack and I'm going to put that in and mount that up and begin to solder on our positive and negative of our battery lead. Now, this kit, um, the Hive 16, comes with a JST2 and it also comes with a um, XT30, which is what I'm going to use. And we'll just uh, solder that down here to the stack. Uh, your positive is on the right hand side, negative on the left. I'm going to flip it over here when I go to solder it, as you'll see. So once we get it in the board, you see how it flipped over and you can see right there the positive sign on that uh, left hand side now instead of the right. So we'll go ahead and solder this puppy into place and that will get us going on the very few soldering uh, points that we have to do in this, which like I said, is really, really nice. I know it might be considered a premium board, but they make premium products and um, it's worth it to me on this particular build and I think in the flight you'll you'll see that it was well worth it so we just uh, now all these wires were pre tinned so that's why I'm not tinning the wires but uh, we'll just go ahead and lock them down to our mounts if we don't mess up putting it on get it in place here do our negative get it in place here so we're all set with that we'll go ahead and put it down onto the board and begin to start bolting down the rest of the board on top. Well, actually, what I'm going to do first, I'm sorry I forgot, is we need to go ahead, of course, and pre tin all of these ESE uh, plates and get them ready to drop our wiring on for that. So you just add a little heat to your pad, add a little solder to that. It's going to jump right on there. These are really, really great pads. I really like these the way they're made so we'll go ahead and get all this guy pre tinned up and then we'll go ahead and solder our motors onto those pads uh, very simple apply the wire apply a little heat boom it's on not really probably something you want to watch so there we are we're all uh, wired up we're all soldered on ready to go with that so the next thing we can do is go ahead and pin back down the rest of our stack here screw it into place I need to do some leveling here this is quite off it's a little bit interesting to do uh, just because it has soft mounts on the bottoms and when you screw those in they go a little weird. So next thing we do is we're screwing on to our little TPU, our PLA mount that I printed. We're putting on our BI as you can see here. 
and uh, I'm missing a screw still at this point to screw it down. I've locked the VTX antenna through the top. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with these wires. I'll probably put them through the camera here because that's usually works. Um, next thing I'm going to do, we're going to go ahead and put the HQ props on there. Uh, very nice props. I do like these. They actually can take a bit of a beating and of course uh, they're really, really nice props. These two make some, some great props. Now with those bolted into place, I've taken my receiver wires and I went ahead and ran them through the canopy there of the BI. It's actually quite handy. Um, I still haven't quite decided what I'm going to permanently do with those, but for now, that's going to work for us getting our hover set up and everything. I still got one more screw to put in the canopy and we should be all set. For anyone quickly observing, you might have seen earlier, I had put everything on backwards and I had to take it all apart and turn it all around because of that a little bit more of an arched is the front and the back is straight flat. So if you caught that, good for you, you win a prize. Not really, but uh, yeah, so I had screwed that up and I had to change all that around. Now the hard part's gonna be, I really don't know necessarily how I'm gonna get the battery in this because there's not, with putting that mount on to put the camera on there, kind of left me with nothing in order, you know, left to put my camera on, so. In the end, what I ended up doing, there was two holes in it, and I ended up running it basically um, toilet uh, toilet bowl, so uh, sideways underneath, and that ended up working just fine. So definitely uh, think about that as you're putting it together. Kind of was a, a oops I found at the end for me. So when you're building, make sure you're paying close attention, not in a rush, and making sure you're getting everything the way you want it to be. So. Next up for us, we are going to put this guy on beta flight. Um, I'm not going to change anything. I'm just going to take it right out of the box, bind it to my receive uh, to my radio, and uh, we'll go ahead then and set up our VTX uh, power via smart audio, which is built right into this little board. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your throttle to the midpoint, pull it to the left. You're going to take your pitch stick, throw it forward, and then you're going to be inside. You want to go down, change your power in the features. I'm setting it to 200, which is what it's set at. And you want to change your band and channel if you choose to. It came with race band eight. And I usually run something else, so we'll just go ahead and switch it around to one of the channels I want to run it to. And then you simply save, and it will go into black screen, and you want to reboot it and reset your goggles so you can see again, because you will lose it if you change the channel. So, into the flight footage. Um, serious distortion, as you can see, getting um, a lot of power through our VTX. I probably should have put a capacitor on this. I hadn't. And we're getting, as you can see, a lot of chop through that VTX. Otherwise, you know, as you can see, BI camera is a beautiful camera. I have found the Moss yet again, which drives me nuts. And I leave this in just to show you, you know, can't win with the Moss around here. So as you can see, this guy flies really great. I mean, it was so smooth. The board is, you know, typical newbie drone, as smooth as it could be. Really, really loving it. Um, frames seem to, to perform wonderfully, um, besides our little VTX issue, which I could have easily fixed, like I said, with a capacitor. Everything was just great until I got a little cocky. Now, I hadn't changed any of the PIDs or rates and just had it at bone stock, as I mentioned, which is really, really slow for me. Went to go through here, do a power loop, and with the pins the way they were, it wasn't pulling out. And this is what I get for that. Broken frame. I pretty much hit this guy, straight coming over the power loop, came down, got a bit of a gap between the bush and the cars, and I flat nosed on the cement. And there you go, 1350, broken and gone. Completely unsalvageable, quite a shame. Uh, but you know, I took the risk and I paid the piper. The frame is awesome. You can get these at Armiton Productions, uh, armatonproductions.com. Look it up, Little Bandito. And uh, you can get it 1350 plus shipping. I bought like four little frames off of them. They have so many frames that they'll cut for you. Really, really cool at Armiton Productions. It does come out of, I think, the Philippines or something. So you're gonna wait a little while. But uh, 
but they can take care of you over there. So, great motors, great props, great board, great camera. Just need to fix our capacitor. It could be just my shitty soldering. Um, I know they don't come like this. I've had other people use this board and you don't have that VTX issue. So we are definitely going to blame that one on me. But as far as flight control and stuff, just awesome. Um, really love this. Uh, and I'm just going to transfer all this onto another frame. So you'll probably see all these parts again on another frame review. Now that I broke this because I was really loving it till then. And, and again, like $3 motors, these 1102, 11,500s. I mean, performing like a champ, not a problem in the world. So, as always, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and happy flying. Hey, guys, thanks for stopping by and checking out the quadcopter review. If you want to see more interesting reviews on FPV-related stuff, take a look up here in the old right corner right there. You'll find links to all the rest of my reviews. If you want to get in on some of the best giveaways, on YouTube look over here don't forget to subscribe right here on my chin and if you want to check out my flying only videos separated from the review channel check that out right here and thanks for coming don't forget to subscribe and happy flying